Hello everyone, today is Monday, October 7th, 2024, and like I promised, we are going to talk about the City of Yes. And honestly, I am not thrilled about it, because this plan is going to dramatically change the zoning laws for building houses in New York City. It's bad enough that de Blasio changed all of the zoning laws to build these multifamily housing units in Fresh Meadows. This is only going to amplify it even more. And, you know, the thumbnail was from a house I saw on 188th Street. But, you know, people are waking up to this. They are realizing that this is going to dramatically not only change Fresh Meadows, but this could dramatically change... Bayside, this could dramatically change Whitestone, this could dramatically change Little Neck, Douglaston, Glen Oaks. So I'm trying to think of all the, maybe parts of Flushing too that have residential housing, but yeah, uh, this is not going to be good. So I want to read the letter that was from the Northwest Bayside Civic Association that was to the city council speaker, Adrian Adams. And I want you to read this because we will talk about when the city council did vote to approve it. And then we'll read another article how this could relate to the mayor resigning or possibly being removed by Kathy Hochul. So I just want to I want you to read this because this is this is important here. Okay, here we go. So it says, quote, the Civic Association is concerned about this housing of yes. All right. We are vehemently opposed to this poorly designed plan. It paints a very rosy picture and is fabricated version of the truth. One that will permanently destroy the community throughout Northeast Queens. Communities around New York City, the five boroughs, are very well educated to the fact that single and two family zonings will be eliminated, making way for large apartment sized dwellings, ADUs and basement garage and attic dwellings. Which we're also going to talk about how this could potentially lead to a big skyscraper being built in Kew Gardens. We have to talk about that in this video too. That's what this is basically doing here. You know, and again, we don't want any more multifamily housing units. This community cannot stand that. Not just fresh metals, but they're all out of Northeast Queens. And it says to propose this without any mandated parking regulations, no infrastructure upgrades, or considerations to school seats as it's ill-covered, including the private schools, all of these changes are welcomed not only by real estate interest who will be uh, charging market rates for these dwellings. For the New York City Department of Planning to believe that this housing opportunity will solve the housing crisis, New York City has been in a housing crisis since 1948. The five boroughs of various needs with each borough in town possessing their own unique characteristics and charms and should be treated as such. The city of yes is a derogatory one-size-fits-all approach that will unfairly target single-family homeowners and does not represent equitable change. The Northwest Bayside Civic Association is particularly concerned with transit-oriented development which will disseminate Northeast Queens with the addition of very high-density dwellings. And again, it could also impact Hugh Gardens as we're going to talk about in this video. We are a small community already with three four-story apartment buildings with two blocks to each other. Transit-oriented development will extend zoning for very high-density homes within half a mile of the Long Island Railroad Auburndale Station, which will result in an unfair burdening of the community. Oh, boy. I, I know what they're talking about. This is literally the houses right by Osnum Hall. So I know why the Civic Association is getting upset here. You know, we don't really want these zoning laws to get changed. Exactly. 
But sadly, uh, look what happened last week. So, a key city planning board approved the so-called city of yes. So, now we have to see if the city council will approve it. Now, I could tell you one thing. And I've heard from Vicky Palladino, and she has said that she is not going to vote for this. Joanne Iolia also said that this is going to impact Howard Beach and Ozone Park. She will not be voting for it because her constituents are concerned as well. Bob Holden... Part of the Common Sense Corps with Vicky Palladino and Joanne Iolia, a Democrat, believe it or not, he will be voting no on this plan as well. Now, I have a bad feeling that here in District 24, Jim Gennaro, I think we're going to get double crossed by Jim. You know, he's pondering more to the radical left every single day it's it's obvious it is completely obvious and i keep saying that you know because of the migrant crisis because we are a densely populated area of eight million people the bottom line is we do not have any more room for these people we don't and maybe other people i don't know we just don't have room right now. We don't. Yeah, here we go. Preserving characteristics of the neighborhood. You know, what could happen to Fresh Meadows? You know, what could happen? I I'm, I'm very scared of this plan, you know? It, it's just a very scary... You know, it's, it's just a very scary thought right now. So now we're going to read this from the Queen's Courier. This came out on Thursday. Queen's Civic Congress will call for a halt and investigation in the city of Yes amid the mayor's federal charges. So Warren Schreiber, this guy right here, he wants to call for a probe into the City of Yes housing plan. So, let's see here. So, the plan again, we know what it wants to do. They want to upend zoning regulations to encouraging more houses. So, the statement says, In view of the federal indictment of the mayor... Queen Civic Congress demands an immediate halt to the legislative process through, through a thorough investigation into the City of Yes happen, uh, housing opportunity. Members of the QCC argue that the Planning Commission, which recently voted in favor of the proposal last week, is proceeding in an expedited way and amid investigations into over a dozen City Hall officials alleging corruption, they believe the forces behind the initiative need to be re-examined. In response to the news, and we just talked about Bob Holden. Weird coincidence, right? Investigative bodies to take a hard look at this plan. So, I do feel that Bob Holden is speaking out for us. I really do. You know, maybe he does kind of remind me of the old school Ed Koch type Democrat party. I don't know. Maybe he's starting to remind me of that. Because I'm telling you right now, if Ed Koch was alive, he would agree with the quote, preserving neighborhood charm. Because I'm pretty sure that Ed Koch would not go through with this. I guarantee you. Alright. So there was a rally in Bayside. Hmm. Look into that in just a second here. Now, this is interesting. So, Schreiber is also the vice president of Community Board 7, which covers Flushing and College Point. So, look at that. Let's see. 
So it says many council members in the outer boroughs are opposed to this. Sorry if that's jumping. If it's also unclear if the legal battles faced by the mayor and members of his administration will affect the final decision of the city of Yes component. Okay. So here is a rally that was organized back in September. So this was in Bayside. Yep, and like I figured, MBCA. Mm-hmm. So there you go. <clears throat> I can understand why these people are upset. Oh, look at this. Ed Bronstein is even opposed. So again, there's actually Democrats challenging this. So look at that. This is one of those rare issues that are bringing Democrats and Republicans together. I, I cannot believe I am actually saying that in this day and age with us being divided with Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. That is something, right? Let's read what Ed Bronstein said. Can you imagine on every corner, we're going to have a three-story apartment building. And then every single house will have an 800 square unit mini home built in their yard. Can you imagine what the parking would be like in Bayside if we'd more than doubled the amount of people living on every block? So again, transit-oriented development zones. I mean, really? Really? I mean, they're already planning to redesign the Q12, the Q13, and the Q31 under the Queen's Bus redesign. Really? I, I bet the MTA, the MTA is obviously in this. So, look at this. Even Linda Lee is not happy with this. Linda Lee is upset. So again, I want Jim Gennaro to come out and say something about this. You know, Jim Gennaro should be speaking up for us west of 188th Street. You know, I'm pretty sure my neighbors are, are hiding it. They know they don't want this plan. They know they don't want this. You live west of 188th Street like I do. You know, you really should be opposed to this plan. Now, we just talked about Vicky Palladino. Vicky Palladino said, They are ramming this through like a freight train. This is a calculated effort to destroy the character of our districts, and no one is immune. Look at this. 12 out of 14 community boards in Queens are against the plan. Now, most of it is in the western part of Queens. So, yeah, I mean, you literally cannot make this stuff up. It's just awful. Alright? So again, Jim Gennaro, I'm going to keep calling you out. Where are you? You need to be vocal about this. Because the bottom line is, he's not, he's not speaking up for I think he's in on this plan. Or I may have found something. Let's see. It looks like Jim Gennaro might have been quoted here. It's the same rally. So, I'm just trying to see if, um, yeah, so far I'm not seeing anything else. State electeds who have ultimately have no official say have also spoken. This is interesting. So my assemblywoman, Nilly Rosick, here in District 25, who is facing, all right, facing a tough election against former NYPD officer Kenneth Peck, also is opposed to this. All right, well, uh, where's John Liu? Where is he? He also should be opposed to this. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Just like Jim Gennaro. I mean, really. Really. So I am very antsy. Very antsy. Okay, here we go. It's quoted here. So it looks like 
Jim Gennaro is going to vote no. According to the Daily Eagle. Alright. It looks like it. From what this quote is saying. So again, Jim Gennaro, I hope you don't sell us out. I really hope you don't sell my community out. Because you know what's going to happen if you vote yes on this plan. You're not going to get reelected next year. And that goes for you too, Bob Holden. All right? Holding you two out, you Democrats. I'm trying to make this political, but, you know, when you've been here for 30 years... And when you're literally on the verge of selling the same house that you've had for 20 years, you know I'm going to get heated. Okay, let's calm down here for a second, shall we? Now, let's wrap up by talking about this. This! We don't need a big skyscraper built in Kew Gardens. Where are they thinking of building this? Parsons Boulevard between 71st and 72nd Avenue. Are you kidding me? Why are they thinking of building it? Really? Really? I mean, just, just why? Just, just why? I'm going to look up this address. I'm going to look it up right now. Let me go on Google. Oh, yeah. I know why they're building it because, again, it's transit-oriented development. That's why they're building this. Look at this. Casino Boulevard is right here. So you know the Q25 and the Q34 go there. 164th Street. So you know the Q65 goes there. I mean, really. Really. Again, just this transit-oriented development. I mean, that's what the city of Yes is. It's disgusting. And, and look what they want to put here. Are, are they knocking down this apartment building? It seems that's what they're doing here. You know it's going to upset the neighbors here. Like these houses right here, you know it's going to upset the neighbors. And there's some more houses right down there. Look at that. And you know, look how valuable this parking space is on 71st Avenue. Because I literally know this area very well. You know, it's right by Aaron's Casino Farms. You know, it's right by the key food. It's bad enough the parking is already bad as it is, with the parking lot getting always full. I mean, this is why we have to speak up now about this. We have to. Because everything is at stake. And if you're planning to sell a house in Queens this year, like I am, you need to take this seriously. Because it could well affect when your house gets appraised. It well could. Well, let's read this. So, it says here that there will be two towers and a shared podium. 1.1 million square feet. I mean, why? Luxury living apart. Why do we need this? This community does not need this. 800 apartments, a luxury pool. Why? Because again, it's transit oriented development. That's why. That's why. And they want to get this done in four years. Okay, I think I'm done here. All right. I'm I'm just ugh. I want to see what they have for Queens here. Long Island City neighborhood plan, Jamaica neighborhood plan, Flushing Creek. I mean, look, they want to build more luxury housing in Long Island City. I mean, 
Why are people in Western Queen supporting this? Oh, you know this is going to make people in in Howard Beach upset. Oh, believe me, that's why Joanne Ioli is upset about this. I mean, it's awful what they're doing. I mean, City of Yes should never happen. And I hope the City Council is not going to sell us out. I have faith that this is not going to go through. There is large opposition to this. And I certainly hope the city of yes doesn't happen. All right? And I'm sorry if I called out Jim Gennaro earlier. It looks like, again, from what the Daily Eagle is saying, he's going to vote no. So I hope, again, he doesn't sell us out. It looks like Linda Lee is not going to sell us out. So if you live east of 188th Street, just be glad you have her. Because, oof. I don't know why we have to be a divided, a, a divided area of one part of Queens by two separate city council districts. It's just, you know. In theory, District 24 should have at least one out to Cunningham Park, but... I don't draw the maps. I don't make city council maps happen. And, you know, the bottom line is it was a waste of time even holding a special election last year. But, hey, uh, that's what New York City does, right? Loves to waste money on nonsensical things. So, <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm done talking. I think 20 minutes is long enough for this video. Uh, I hope you will agree with me that the city of yes should not be happening. Let me know how you feel in the comments because the bottom line is uh, I'm getting more optimistic that um, this is not going to happen. You know, and the, and the bottom line is when, this, when the council votes, they're looking out for our interest. And that's why we vote these people in to office. So that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll have an update when the city council is going to vote. At some point. Because I'm sure it'll get a lot of media attention when it does. So that's it.